Better Biking with Survival Skills. What is the science of being seen? The science of being seen, or SOBS for short, is a presentation that was originally created by myself, Kevin Williams, for Kent Fire and Rescue's Pilot Biker Down course. The Biker Down pilot consisted of an accident scene management module plus first aid, but there was a need for a proactive crash prevention module, and back in 2011 I was invited to create that module. Over the winter of 2011-2012, I came up with the basic concepts that became SOBS. SOBS is a three-part and in-depth investigation of the most common motorcycle crash of all, the sorry mate, I didn't see you, or Smidzi collision. Drivers have been told to think bike since the 1970s, but the sad fact is we continue to have these crashes. My aim is to give riders a better understanding of how, where and why these collisions happen and to offer simple and practical strategies for staying out of trouble. The first part of SOBS offers three different explanations for why motorcycles are involved in so many collisions at junctions. Looked but could not see collisions. These happen when it was physically impossible for the driver to see the motorcycle in the run-up to the crash. Reasons include the ease with which motorcycles are hidden by the car structure itself, sometimes called beam at blindness, as well as other vehicles and roadside infrastructure. This problem accounts for around one in five of all collisions. Looked but failed to see collisions account for around one in three crashes. The bike was where it could be seen, but visual perception issues, including motion camouflage and saccadic masking, result in the driver failing to spot the bike until too late. Looked, saw, but misjudged speed and distance. These collisions tend to happen on faster roads because it's difficult to judge the distance and approach speed of a skinny motorcycle, causing drivers to overestimate the time they have to pull out. This error accounts for around one in three crashes. The second part of SOBS takes a look at passive safety conspicuity aids, IVs clothing and day riding lights, and explains why they have proven much less successful than was predicted. Yellow is not always a good choice, and most riders involved in junction collisions now have lights on, yet smidzy crashes still happen. Using the research into conspicuity aids, I make some suggestions about what colour to wear and how to use lights more effectively. The third and final part suggests some simple, proactive measures to avoid being caught up in a smidzy collision in the first place, and alerts riders to the forgotten crash with an oncoming driver turning right. I also point out that a smidzy is a two-to-tangle collision. Yes, the driver makes the initial error, but the collision will only happen if the motorcyclist rides into it. And lastly, I explain that many collisions could have been avoided if the rider had taken effective evasive action. Our team at Kent Fire and Rescue was honoured with the Prince Michael of Kent International Road Safety Award in November 2012, and subsequently Biker Down, including Science of Being Seen, was taken up by National Fire Services. SOBS went on to gain international recognition. I've twice been part of an international team of speakers on the nationwide Shiny Side Up Rider Safety Initiative in New Zealand, travelling around that country. I've also been a virtual speaker for the online version. SOBS has also been delivered as part of the Rev Talks series in the US in 2020 and to an online audience as part of the Powered Two-Wheeler Safety Fortnight in 2012. Most recently, SOBS featured in an online article by Debit Insurance. I continued to deliver my own presentations for Kent Fire and Rescue. The last was in February 2020, before Biker Down courses were shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Sadly, my personal involvement with Biker Down is at an end, but the science of being seen lives on. I travel out to clubs and rider groups around the UK in person to deliver SOBs and regularly deliver the full presentation, plus other talks online. You can find out more about Science of Being Seen at www.scienceofbeingseen.org. There's even a page for drivers. And finally, SOBS receives no funding and never has. 
All the time and work done to put the SOBS project together has always been entirely self-funded. Purchase my Science of Being Seen paperback or e-book and that helps support my work. Thanks for watching. Thank you.